Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a Monday morning as we look out over the lower 48 states. That storm that we've been talking about, remember, was out here in the Midwest. It dove all the way down the Gulf Coast, picked up moisture, spawned two tornadoes down there in Florida, ice and snow all the way down to Mississippi, Alabama, even Atlanta, now moving through the Mid-Atlantic and now into the Northeast United States. Look at all the snow there, and as we zoom in on that, boy, there's been some heavy snow. We know at least six, maybe eight inches has fallen as far west as around the Cleveland area, but there's been heavier amounts than that, especially in some of these higher elevations, and there's been wind speeds that have been gusting as well with that storm system. But the entire thing, well, none of it ever affected us. We escaped the and dodged a bullet that time around, but by the time we get into midweek, we've got more Arctic air that's going to be plunging in here, which will probably start up the lake effect snowmaking machine. Nothing out there right now. We pull out to a little bit wider perspective. You can see that snow was spun almost all the way into uh, Canada here, almost to Windsor, Canada, to uh, the Detroit area. Never quite made it about another 50 miles further to the west than it would have. But that's spinning right now from places like Cleveland, Buffalo, Toronto, delivering some heavy snow for those folks, but nothing for Michigan. Look at our temperatures. We're in the lower 20s there in Big Rapids, White Cloud, 25 in Fremont right now. We have 22 in Grand Rapids to the east, 19 in Clarksville, but these temperatures are a lot warmer than they were over the weekend. We dipped to almost zero in some locations. 24 on the south side of Kalamazoo, 22 in Battle Creek, and we're in the low to mid 20s along and south of the I-94 corridor. It does feel like it's uh, there's a little bit of a wind chill out there. Not much, but it does feel like it's in the teens in some uh, locations. So that's what you want to dress for this morning. It will be a little bit on the breezy side both today and then again tomorrow as well. Our forecast today mostly cloudy. May see a few flakes or flurries inland uh, at the lakeshore, especially from Holland down into Berrien County. There could be some lake effect snow showers. It would be less than an inch of accumulation if we see that at temperatures around 30 degrees with a northwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. As we look at your future trap map, even that is picking up on maybe some snow showers. A really kind of a marginal situation for anything of any significance, so I don't expect anything there. As we go through the day, lots of cloud cover. We'll go through the evening and the overnight hours. Lots of cloud cover, maybe some light snow showers, flakes or flurries, but nothing of any significance. Most of Tuesday looks dry until we get into later portions of the day, and as we do, we may start to see uh, some snow showers because this warm front's going to lift down through the area. This is our next clipper system. The real energy with this system is going to be further north, but as this comes through, it could give us a mixed bag of precipitation, maybe a little bit of light patchy freezing drizzle Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning, or some snow showers. You could see that I've stopped this at midnight Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning. You'd see that from Grand Rapids in the north. That trend continues early on Wednesday morning for the commute, and then behind it, well, that colder Arctic air is going to rush in here. We'll see the temperatures fall throughout the day, and then uh, probably start up some more lake effect snow making showers by the time we get into Wednesday. For today, 30 degrees, lake effect snow showers possible, mostly cloudy tomorrow with temperatures around 32 degrees. We're in the mid 30s on Wednesday with uh, maybe a morning sprinkle or that mix that I just talked about. Otherwise, some uh, PM lake effect snow showers will likely start up. Let's look at the forecast model and see. We'll pick this European model up at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. There is the low pressure system and the cold front that will work on through. The colder air works in here. Look at the setup of lake effect snow. This looks like it's going to go for the second part of Wednesday, Wednesday night. Even as we go into Thursday, you can see how persistent this particular model is. And I buy that. There's a very good chance that uh, and we won't see that uh, lake effect shut down until high pressure builds in. And as we get into probably later Thursday and Friday. So there could be several inches of lake effect snow uh, through that time frame here especially at the immediate lakeshore, at least west of US 131. But look at the colder temperatures only in the teens. By the time we get into Saturday and Sunday, we'll have the chance of more snow showers with temperatures in the low to mid 20s by that time. That is a look at your forecast 649. Let's take a look at traffic. Here's Rob.